We're standing here in the PlayStation Lounge at E3 with Tom, who's the producer on Little Big Planet that's coming up for Wida. Uh, what do you want to bring it out to Wida? Well, PlayStation Vita gives us like this amazing kind of like platform to bring Little Big Planet to. It's almost as if Little Big Planet's been waiting for PlayStation Vita. The, the, the things that we can do using all the new inputs uh, front panel, rear panel, uh, tilt, using the camera for create mode. It kind of it just adds to the overall experience and just kind of like makes it, uh, you know, it's kind of like, like probably one of the, like the, the best Little Big Planets ever, to be honest. So if you compare it to, because Little Big Planet did make it onto PSP, yes. so what, what, kind of, what kind of difference is it when you can bring it to Vita? Okay, so PlayStation Vita, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, it's a lot more powerful than P PSP. Um, it's probably closer to PlayStation 3 um, power. Um, we can do. There's no compromises basically with this version. You know, we have all the tools from Little Big Planet 2, which means that you can create absolutely any game that you want to create. So it's not just about platform and gameplay. That will still feature, and we'll evolve that with new ways to interact with Sacco in the game world. But we can now give people all the tools from the LBP2 plus all the inputs from PlayStation Vita, which means they can have this like amazingly powerful tool set to just create anything that they want. You can just imagine the camera, the touch screen, things that are ideal for, for this kind of creating Absolutely. game. So on the create side, it just makes having a touch interface makes create mode much more accessible. So all of a sudden you've got this really tactile kind of like inviting screen to kind of play around with and we'll make all the poppets all full full touch and um, you'll be able to draw geometry directly with your fingertips you'll be able to resize it move it carve it out delete it paint directly onto the screen it just makes the whole experience kind of like a lot more fun and a lot more accessible and uh, of course the second part of that is sharing it with the world and, yeah. and getting your stuff up there and getting other people's stuff down Okay, so on the share side, so you can do everything that you can do on the PlayStation 3 version, you know, you can create your levels and you can share them with the Little Big Planet community for those other PlayStation Vita players to download and play on their own system. Um, you can also, one, one thing that we are doing across both versions of PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita is that all the purchase costumes that you've bought, when you boot up your PlayStation Vita version, they'll automatically be unlocked. So you can so you can do that. Um, we'll have a kind of a, a brand new PlayStation Vita moon, so all the games and levels that are created on that moon will be specific to PlayStation Vita and they'll, and they'll get the most out of the platform. So uh, you, you touched a little bit on how it, how it communicates with Little Big Planet 2. Uh, sort of the, the franchise has different developers, of course Media Molecule are the creators. Could you touch a little bit on the developer that's been doing this game? Yeah, so we've actually got two developers involved in the PlayStation Vita version. Um, we've got Tarja Studios, who have been working on Little Big Planet franchise for a number of years. Actually, they've created a lot of content. They're incredibly artistic. You know, just looking at the game today, you can see it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and then, in conjunction with them, we've got Double Eleven Studios, who are like technical geniuses, basically. I mean, if you look at what we're doing on the PlayStation Vita, it's very, very close to the PlayStation 3 version. Um, we're still working in close conjunction with Media Molecule. They absolutely love the game. They think it's fantastic. They still have a lot of input, you know, they created the franchise. Um, they're going to have an interest in this right up until, you know, forever, basically. So, do you think that you'll be ready for launch or are you aiming for that? Um, we haven't got a release date to be announced at the moment, but all we can say is that we'll be out next year. All right, thank you very much for your Thanks time. Very much. Thanks. Cheers.